Hello everyone, it's Liam Carlson here. It's time to get into another episode of Person of Interest. It's episode four of season one. Um, so yeah, it's been a few weeks since I took part um, on this uh, adventure, which has been pretty, pretty solid so far. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying my time with Person Intre of Interest, should I say. Um, and yeah, the last episode definitely was my favorite of the three so far. It was just very, very uh, impactful, like the emotions were there and it was just very thrilling it was setting things up seemingly in terms of um you know story arcs potentially uh to explore further down the line so it's all been pretty pretty great so far and i'm excited to see how this episode plays um about so with that said let's get into episode number four of person of interest let's go i seeing some back pain my doctor's playing golf in the caymans I just need a refill on my pain medication. All right, on a scale of one to five, how bad your pain? On a good day, three. Today's not a good day. Oof. So four. Excuse my hands. If we're rating it from good to bad. She puts in 80 hours a week at the hospital. Single, lives alone. It doesn't stop for her, does it? Hmm. Why do I suspect, like, not at all. some, I don't know, oh, 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 that was a look. I was, I don't know, I was going to say some, like, black market shenanigans. I don't know. Hey, baby. Get the memo. She said no. She said piss off. Not so much a gun, I guess. The guy's name is Andrew. Ben. Just so quick, split second. He's take what you need. Roofies. Ah, oh, what the fuck is? I think we just found the thread finch. Yeah, this guy's We're a piece of shit. And look, little guy says something back right there. Think his name is Andrus? Ah, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, he's a Marmistine Rivner named Birdette. You think this Birdette hurt something? Yep, yeah, that's his name. Might lead you to your guy. Oh! You. He's not the first person who's tried to kill me. Fusco will stay in line. Your detective is a nice pet to keep, Mr. Reese, <laughs> but sooner or later... <laughs> that pet's gonna bite. I'll bite you back. Yeah. <laughs> well, that leaves you on the hook for a million dollars worth of cocaine. We oh boy! Let me go to the ATM, make a withdrawal. <laughs> oh shit! Dad, come on, let's play. Just a minute, buddy. Our children, they uh, they see too much violence. Yeah. So why don't you turn the other way? Oh, I'm Kate. Andrew. It's nice to meet you. Why is she using a false name? Uh, I was just about to go mm. get some fresh air. Yeah. You know what? Do you mind if I join you? That's interesting though, like, okay, what's, what's her damage? Finch, Benton's not stalking the doctor. It's her stalking him, vice She's versa. She's stalking him. She, it's the whole Uno, um, no usage, um, all over again. Woo! It's me. I know it's late. Take these guys out. So I'm working for you now? Do you them on me? Lots if you want to, if you, if, if you want to keep, not gonna be hard you know, to one just as useful as you. asking for his help, it's baggage. best to look out for him, right? The report, please. Aired. Tox reports came back clean. Rape kit was inconclusive. Shit. She dropped the charges. Who was the girl? Gabrielle Tillman, the doctor's sister. Oh. The year after the attack, Gabrielle was rushed to ER and pronounced DOA from an overdose of antidepressants. So she's getting right back at him for what happened to her sister. He told me to stop staring at him. That's interesting. Why were you staring? Most people's instinct is to look away. Well, I've never been accused of being like most people. Did he say I am not most people. No. <laughs> Did you try to communicate with him in any other way? I thought surely I was about to die. So, yes, I was communicating with him. I was begging for my life. That, and it really sells sorry, well as well. the exact words I used. 
she has reason to doubt, but... If you can think of it. You know, he's really got a good point going on there. He's, 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 he's sold it really well. ...and said I was a real wild woman, and... Fucking sick. ...he would see me at work. Now, every day I see him, and he smiles that same smile, and I want to throw up. <laughs> I need this job. I can't quit. This is, it, it's just heartbreaking. My friend, you know, I thought I could live with it. Just it's hurting her and, it's like a job. Yeah. Good life. Even if she, uh... And then I saw him a month ago. Oh. It all came back. It was against him, I consistently dropped. <sighs> Guys depraved. Yep, he's Gets a off fucking on sicko. Gets off and humiliating all these women. He's not gonna stop, Finch. No, and that's what, and, and that's why she... That name the doctor gave me? We got three hits on Kate Lehman. That's the why same suit she is wanting... It, 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 yeah, you can understand, like, it, it also protects women out there as well from, um, you know, from what Benton's gonna do, because he will keep doing this as, yeah established bounds of lie beat it to 300 degrees body will dissolve in three hours give or take holy shit i will refrain from asking how you know that <gasps> what do you suggest mr reese we don't give her the chance i'm gonna find a way to make ben disappear save her skin really save her career because that's it though she's gonna be throwing her career away <laughs> perfect. Just perfect timing. What are you doing? You're stealing from them? If it makes you feel better, it's for a good cause. Oh. It's a problem. Oh. You're the problem. Wow. Wow. The craziest week. Drinks are on me. Oh, oh shit. Fuck's Why? sake. What's stopping you? They are going to be so best buddies. They are definitely going to be so best buddies. I know it's late. Do it quick. She's headed toward Benton's law. All right, got it. Oh, no. Can we do this later, fellas? I'm a little bit... Shit! Shit! They have to be a complication. Did it there? Reese, the doctor's been at Benton's loft for five minutes. Where the well, hell are you? Finch is gonna have to do something. I don't know, but yeah. don't tell me they nabbed Fisco as well. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Nice to Oh. oh damn! Shut up. Oh damn! How about Miguel? Shut up, he's lying. I don't think so. I don't think so. And I know if you do this. You did, yeah. If you murder this man in cold blood, you will kill you. You won't be taking him down, you'll be taking yourself down. He's seen me. He's seen my face. Yeah, she's like, she's like, it's too late. The, you may as well commit, but... It won't matter. He's trying to do her a solid. He's trying to save her. She's to your van, Megan. She gets to keep her memory of you. Oh. I don't get it. Why do you do it, Finch? The machine, the numbers, all of it. I told you, Mr. Reese. I have my reasons. We need to unpack. Any leads? 
A few. You just transfer? Yeah. Talk to Fusco. Carter. Just get it close. Looks like stuck with me. <laughs> yeah. It's just so so G like he he's he's got tabs on Carter. I've done some things. Um Some things? I've crossed some lines. You you did more than cross some lines, buddy. I, 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 I swear. Please. I don't think he believes that though. And nor do I. No, they uh they can. I can. We all change when you think about you, it. But that this is not the time. I I don't think that you're going to kill me. Bold? No. no. Maybe they're only good decisions. Please. Holy shit. No you, good people, just good decisions. You, you, you don't want to do something that you're going to regret. Which do you think I'll regret more? Oh, for I yeah. Oh. Help me make a good decision. That's it, though. He could just outright kill him. Oh. And we're just left on that, like, unknown, aren't we? Because, uh, yeah, what is the right decision? Is it wiping the, so, is it wiping the scum off this planet? Scum like him? Or can he make good decisions? Can he stop being, uh, yeah. I like how they ended it just there. Like you just don't know what decision he's gonna go. He's he's gonna make, but it's probably a you know a good decision at the end of the day. But what is that decision? Hey, eh? is he truly gonna be a um, you know? Is he gonna own responsibility for being a piece of shit? Oh, I really enjoyed that episode. It was really heartbreaking, like, especially when you considered uh, Gabby, I think that uh, that was Megan's sister. Um, yeah, it, it was just very, very heartbreaking. But yeah, it was it was just really, really great stuff. So. Yeah. And that final scene was just, was just, was just really, really great. So, yeah. Especially when you just leave the final moment, like, up to interpretation, I guess. So, um, yeah. But, wow, it was a really, really wonderful, uh, it was a really wonderful episode. Very powerful stuff. Um, but yeah, great, great episode. I mean, that final scene in particular was just oh, chilling, just especially with the way that uh, you just don't know what Reese is going to do. And then it just gets capped off by the fact that you don't know what Reese has done. He could have killed Benton. He could have um, left him to make good decisions and all of that. So, and you know what? I think it's going to be one of those things that never gets answered and we will never know ever. So there's going to be no hints towards it. We're going to be left. In, and, and that's what I really do love uh, in regards to, um, you know, certain things that make us wonder, okay, well, there's two options, but we don't know what's going to happen. I, I, th I always think about, uh, I don't know, Doctor Who's deep breath, uh, actually, when there was, um, a bit of ambiguity on if the doctor shoved the clockwork droid uh, to its death or if the clockwork droid uh, jumped um because and because we never got the answer to that and it left it leaves you in a bit of ambiguity same here we don't know if uh, Reese you know, kill Benton, or if he allowed Benton to try and make some good choices because if he gets out of uh, hand he will take him down, so... But it's also very interesting in terms of uh, the whole idea on uh, can we change? Um, 
and that you know at the end of the day people don't change but they make good decisions um and you know you've got benton who's obviously begging for his life but he's also trying to throw the um hypothetical on maybe people can change and all of that and there's this whole you know that the, there has been this whole narrative in my life in regards to you know uh, we all change when you think about it etc but um because we are all different people but Obviously, with the way that, um, you know, recent, like, we'll, we'll obviously unpack a lot more as time goes on. But with Reese and how um, tragedy has followed it, there's, there's, there's a denial in terms of the idea that people can change, like, deep to their core. Um, they are still there, and they are just more so encouraged to make good decisions. Um, they can easily just snap back to the person that they are always are at their core. So, and, you know, that's the wonder on if Benton should, should be allowed to, um, should be allowed to live. Like, like there's, there's this unknown factor on if he's going to attack again, uh, and all of that. Like he, it, it's fair enough saying, Oh, I'll, I'll change my ways, etc., and And all that jazz. But, um, you know, is uh, is he going to continue making good decisions or is he going to go back to who he is at his core and that's being a complete monster so um so it's just very interesting to throw you know this into the mix but i also feel like it can give a bit of an idea on terms of like um this i don't know a uh, question of um uh, you know reese's self really like uh, can I make a good decision, etc., in terms of um, um, what to do with you? I guess because I feel like he he could have the uh, he he could with no questions asked he he could automatically jump to um, you know killing uh, Benton for, for for what he's done, take him out of the world, make him no longer be a, a problem, and all of that. Um, but he can also try to give, uh, he could also, um, uh, give, uh, or entertain the idea, should I say, in terms of, of giving, um, Benton a chance to see if he can make good decisions. Um, and, and it does, like I said, it does, um, bring up the idea of, of Reese having a bit of a, a, a self-identity, um, journey where, okay, well, I could kill him, but. I've got this choice to make another uh, a, a, another decision um, in terms of letting him have the chance to change his ways and all of that. So, um, and I don't know if the little conversation with uh, with Tillman did, um, you know, spark a bit of an idea and all of that in terms of okay, well, there there can be this other option rather than just straight up kill him. So, um, yeah, but it is very interesting to see um you know that final scene play out really so yeah um but also in terms of uh the fact that um uh it, 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 it with with tillman there's this big pressure on her shoulders uh in regards to i mean she's already made her decision on what she's planning to do and of course you have reese trying to stop her from damaging her her, well not just her career her life really and um you know you don't want to get too insensitive but the memory of 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 um her sister really because her sister died and and um you know she would have known what megan was like um as someone who you know will will uh help the helpless who will uh be a great doctor etc um but that idea would die because of the fact that she would get locked up would make it uh, if she went through killing benton um so it was just re i really really loved that discussion though because um like between reese and 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 megan when he did um tell megan you don't have to go through with this etc let me take care of it um yeah, I really loved that because it's not just it, it wasn't just important to to um 
deter Megan from killing Benton, but it was also like something that may have and that that set things up for you know that little conversation between Benton and Reese in terms of making a good decision, etc. So yeah, because she was so she, I I feel like with Reese, um, I don't know. I feel like um, he would have been in a similar position to what Megan was, like where okay, there's all there's only one straight answer, but he's seeing he he knows the good Megan has done for the world, and he's trying to offer a different um, option in terms of how to handle the situation. It's it's not a straightforward answer. It doesn't have to be that, um, and there can be a better way. There can be a good decision um and i feel like reese would have been in that pos position obviously when we all you know first started and all of that um so he he he's uh, you know debating the idea of well do i kill you or do i let you make a good decision etc so um and I feel and and um I feel like that was that drew inspiration for the little exchange with with Megan. Um so yeah, but um it, it you know, it was just very, very uh, I felt like that was a very, very powerful scene, not just in terms of like potentially setting things up with his confrontation with uh Benton, but also like I said, in terms of saving Megan's career because you know she does a lot of good she puts in a lot of work she puts it puts in a lot of work hours etc and um the world would be a bit of a darker place if she threw all of that away because uh, to, uh, and you know i don't really blame her for wanting benton dead i really you you, you do sympathize with her she she's not a bad person etc um so but at the end of the day there is that risk that she's she's taking away from the world because of the fact that um you know she was so hell bent on on getting rid of benton and you know that would be a tragedy itself because there would be a lot of people that would need that touch of grace from megan uh that that you know she she's uh seemingly like an inspiration to the people etc and yeah, that would just be taken away, really, if uh, she she w went out uh, and killed Benton in cold blood. So, um, yeah, but I mean, it was just really, really powerful. Um, so, and as he said, everyone needs someone to talk to, and and Megan really needed that because there was a better way to go about things. And you know, you allowed. Um, uh, you, you allowed Reese to to take charge, whilst Megan gets to keep her job, etc. So, um, and it's and it, it is just very very heartbreaking because you're sitting. I I feel like with Megan, you're sit you you'd be sitting there thinking, um, you know, I want to get revenge. I want I want to make sure that he never hurts people again. And um you do, you you do worry on if this was you know w with what she initially agreed uh, upon with with Reese taking care of Benton is this the right move to make um and and so i guess that kind of falls on Reese's shoulders in terms of decision making because he could get and 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 it's very important to pry into it because you know he's now contemplating ideas on if he should if Ben should live or not but um does he take out trash from the world or does he um is, is the fear going to get into uh, benton's head that he needs to make good decisions from now on etc and own up for 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 the monstrous things he's done so yeah um and it was just very very powerful like just you know exploring some like because it wasn't just Megan that of uh, well not Megan it wasn't just um Gabrielle who um who was a victim sadly but also but there was you know that support group and all of that there was that woman talking and you just really sympathized and it just you know there was this bad feeling in your stomach because you know this is a real thing as well at the end of the day this is not exactly um uh, um something that 
you only hear in fiction. This uh, this is a, a this is a real thing because there are um there are some sick people in the world that will do this. Um and it just makes it, it makes you sick, it makes your blood boil. Um and that's why you could sympathize with 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 Megan because you know these bastards are just monsters. They they are vile and they are vermin and yeah. So like I said, and and I really like the fact that they just you know go in a direction of okay, well Megan is going to do something very very damaging to not just her career but her life as well. Um, especially with how powerful as well uh, Benton is because. I mean, you had uh, Reese try to set him up with the cocaine, but he got out easily. Uh, and that's it, though. With how powerful, um, you know, Megan is. Uh, not Megan. How powerful Benton is. Megan would have, um, you know, it, 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 even though that he would not be able, uh, he would not be able to hurt people anymore. Yeah. It would still be very, very detrimental to to Megan uh, and her story, and not just her life, but her career as well. Like I said, there were going to be so it, it wouldn't just be her personally, her herself that would be affected by it, but there would be a lot of people because, like I said, touch of grace that Megan can provide um, that would be absent because of the fact that Megan would be serving time in jail. Um, so, but. Yeah, at the end of the day, she it's not like she was a bad person whatsoever. She was um, trying to get revenge. She went this whole... I, I don't know if you want to call it a vigilante route, but um, she she was trying to get justice for what happened to, to, to her sister and to also make sure that no one else has to suffer by his hand again. Um, thus, um, just reducing the down because obviously there are still going to be so many disgusting um, assholes out there in the world but it uh, she would be um see it, it it does feel um interesting as well because that's it though like with her killing benton it also like with her profession she's saving as many lives as possible and all of that and then of course the um other avenue where she was so hell bent on getting rid of benton Again, she would be looking out. It, it, it's just very, very interesting. Those, um, uh, the, like these kind of situations where her profession, she saves as many lives as possible with how, what she was planning to do with Benton. She's wanting to look out for many more um, people who would, um, you know, potentially be a victim of his because he would just get away with it. Um, so. Yeah, and, but this this would be at the expense of, of course, her own... Like, this would be a sacrifice of her own career as well as her own life, so... Yeah, so it's just very, very interesting how we had those two scenarios, uh, basically. Uh, you know, um, I guess kind of connected where she was trying to look out for the people. She was trying to, um, you know, save um, as many lives as possible, and... Um, yeah so but like i said it she was someone that you that i did sympathize with so um yeah but it was a really powerful episode really great stuff and you know i said last week's episode was my favorite but then this episode comes along and i really loved it like some of the dialogue was just really really um superb um and of course you had some very powerful scenes you just empathized with um Megan so much as well as anyone else who was hurt by Benton really because it wasn't just a one-time thing so um and it was just really really fascinating stuff uh this episode so I really loved and and of course that ending uh the ambiguity of things so um yeah it was a really really well constructed episode in my opinion so I really enjoyed going through this episode so yeah um until then though i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out uh, more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles